Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool Easter egg that is actually a awesome reference to something that happened in Grand Theft Auto 4. Now, before we get started, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support on the videos lately. Uh, and that's why I'm doing this third video today. You guys have just been showing massive support lately. So I figured, why not? Let's do a, a quick little third video here on the channel. And uh, that's what I'm going to be doing right now, showing you guys this Easter egg. So I actually think my good friend Zach Cox TV discovered this Easter egg first. I'll leave his link in the description down below so you can check out his video and his thoughts and opinions on this. But anyways, to get this started and to get this Easter egg going, you're going to need to get access to Lester's house. Now, for me, the easiest way to do that, and I'm sure most of you guys have gotten this far into the single player, is to replay the mission Friend Request, which is where you go into Franklin's house for the very first time before you start up the Vangelico heist. That, for me, was the easiest way to do it. If you know another way to get into Lester's house, you go for it. You can just uh, go in any way you want. And basically, once you get through his spiel, his dialogue of Michael and them setting up the heist, you're going to notice that obviously Lester's house is a cluster of just random knickknacks, trinkets, gear, etc. And if you go over towards his bed, there's kind of like a little futon area. You'll actually notice that there are some action figures hanging on the wall. Now, the ones on the top, the barfs, I'm really not too sure what those are. But there's some pretty recognizable superheroes in this bunch. You've got the Brown Streak. You've got Impotent Rage. You've got the Republican Space Ranger, as well as Princess Robot Bubblegum. Uh, and there's also a few other ones on there as well. Two versions of Captain Spacetron. Now, this isn't actually where we're going to be finding our Easter egg. Those are just where they're located on the wall. We'll be coming back to that for some comparison in a little bit. If you go towards the front of Lester's room. Uh, he's got like this shelf. It's got some sword on it with some newspapers. You'll actually notice that those action figures are out in the open and we can kind of get a better look at what they are. You can clearly see the Republican Space Ranger. You can see Impotent Range, the Brown Streak. And then you can see this one weird guy. He's wearing like some black boots, jeans, and a jean jacket with a white undershirt and orange reddish sleeves. Now this is actually where our Easter egg takes place. Now, I want to say this is a resemblance or kind of a nod towards, I guess, what would be GTA 4's version of a stranger and freak, French Tom. Now, if you don't know who French Tom is, during a mission from Brucey in GTA 4, you actually had to eliminate him. You met him at like some diner and then you had to kill him on the spot. And he wears a very similar outfit. You can notice the hairstyle is pretty similar. The jean jacket with, I guess, the iconic red off-colored sleeves is where his jeans and boots. So this is actually pretty funny because this mission in Grand Theft Auto 4 with Nico and French Tom was a pretty funny one. And it looks like he has actually been, I guess, brought back in Grand Theft Auto 5 in this tiny little Easter egg. Now, I know what you might be saying in that the action figure has some differences from French Tom. And one, I think that's to be expected, obviously going from GTA 4 to GTA 5 to an action figure, you're going to have some slight differences uh, because the other action figures you can see there, like Impotent Rage and the Brown Streak and Princess Robot Bubblegum, they both have their own differences when we actually go back and we look at what they look like on the box. Now, something else that's pretty interesting to note is that on the box, you can see that the French Tom action figure that we're looking at is actually Captain Space Toy, and his name is Space Tramp. So I'm not sure if that's a reference to the fact that French Tom was gay or if that has something else to do. Either way, they look extremely similar, and it's just another GTA 4 Easter egg that's been found within Grand Theft Auto 5. This is so cool that this game has been out for over two years now, going on three years, and we're still finding these brand new Easter eggs relating back to previous GTA games, Grand Theft Auto characters, and GTA titles. So I want to leave it up to you guys in the comments section down below. Do you think this is French Tom? Do you think that it's a reference to the way he dressed and his overall outfit in game? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below as well. Do a for me. Go into Lester's house, check this out for yourself, and also report back to me and see if you find anything new or anything different. Lester's house is filled with crazy stuff. Who knows what other Easter eggs we might be missing there. Anyways, if you did go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching 
Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.